Hi guys, so for this video I'm using yarn in three different colors. The yarn is in size 4 medium and the crochet hook that I'm using is in size 4 millimeters. So I'll start by making a slip knot and now I'll chain 3. Now on the last chain from the hook I need to make 10 half double crochets. This two chain in the beginning of a row already counts as one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Don't worry about this large loop in the center. When we weave the ends in, it will disappear. So to finish row one, right here through this uh, second chain in the beginning of a row, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row one. Now for row two, I'll chain one, then right there through a second chain from the hook, I'll make two half double crochet. Through the next chain I'll make two half double crochet. Through the next chain I'll make two half double crochet. Through the next chain I'll make two half double crochet. Through the next chain I'll make two half double crochet. So I'll continue making two half double crochet through each chain throughout row two. And by the end of row two we should have 20 half double crochets. So now to finish row two, right here through this first half double crochet chain I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row two. Now for row three, I'll chain one, then right there through a the second chain from the hook, I'll make two half double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain, two half double crochet. Through the next chain, one half double crochet. And through the next chain, two half double crochet. Through the next chain, one half double crochet, and through the next chain, two half double crochet. So we repeat this throughout row three. We are increasing in every second chain. Finish row three, right there through its first half double crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row three. So now for row four, I'll chain one, then right there through the second chain from the hook, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain, one half double crochet. Through the next chain, one half double crochet. Through the next chain, one half double crochet. So I'll continue making one half double crochet through each chain throughout row four. So now to finish row four, right here through this first half double crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row four. Now for row five, I'll chain one, then right there through the second chain from the hook, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain, one half double crochet. Through the next chain, one half double crochet. So for row five, we are repeating row four. 
we are just making one half double crochet through each chain. Row three was the last row of increases. So yeah, we'll continue making one half double crochet through each chain throughout row five. So we repeat row four until we have 12 rows in total. And that's counting from the first row. So yeah, we repeat row four until we have 12 rows in total. So here for row one, we had 10 half double crochets. For row two, 20 half double crochets. And for row three, 25 half double crochets. So, so we continue working in these 25 half double crochets for 12 rows in total. And now I need to use yarn in different colors. So I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn. So here for row 13, I insert my hook right here through this same chain. Then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. And now I'll chain one, then right there through that same chain, I'll make one half double crochet. So we're still going to repeat row four, only this time we are using yarn in a different color. So yeah, we just continue working through these 25 half double crochets. So we continue making one half double crochet through each chain until we have three rows in black. So now that we have made three rows in black color, right there through that same chain I insert my hook. Then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. Now I'll chain one. Then right there through that same chain I'll make one half double crochet. Through this next chain I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain one half double crochet. Through the next chain one half double crochet. So I'll continue making one half double crochet through each chain throughout this row. So we're still working only through 25 half double crochets. This is row 16. So yeah, we we'll just continue making one half double crochet through each chain throughout row 16. So now we'll continue repeating row 4 until we have 19 rows in total. And now for row 20, I will chain 1, then right there through that second chain from the hook, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain, one half double crochet. So I'll continue making one half double crochet through each chain until we have only four of these chains left. So we just continue making one half double crochet through each chain. So now that we have only four of these chains left, we have reached the end of row 20. So for row 21, we'll turn our work around. Then I'll chain one. Now on the second chain from the hook, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one half double crochet. So I'll continue making one half double crochet through each chain until we reach the end of row 21. So now that I've reached the end of row 21, right here through his last half double crochet chain, I'll make one half double crochet. So this completes row 21. So now we repeat row 20 for the pattern. So just continue trying your work on until your slipper fits your foot. So in my case here, I repeated row 20 until I had uh, 13 rows in total. Now I'm going to turn my work inside out. I will chain one and I'll leave a long tail. Then with a the yarn needle, I'll join these two sides together.
Now I'll use yarn in different color, then I will chain one, and now I will chain 20. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now on the last chain from the hook, I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain one, then ready right through the same chain, I'll make three half double crochet. So one, two, and three. Now through the next five chains, I'll make one half double crochet through each chain. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now through the next chain, I'll make three half double crochet through the same chain. So one, two, now I'm forming the corners. When I make, when I make three half double crochet through the same chain, I'm forming the corners. Now through the next three chains, I'll make one half double crochet through each chain. So one, two, and three. Through the next chain, I'll make three half double crochet through the same chain. Now, through the next five chains, I'll make one half double crochet through each chain. Two, three, four, and five. Now through the next chain, I'll make three half double crochets through the same chain. So one, two, and three. Now through the next three chains, I'll make one half double crochet through each chain. So one, two, and three. Now I'll just cut this yarn. Now right here through this uh, first half double crochet chain, I'll insert my needle. Then right here through this next chain, right there through the center, I insert my needle. And then pull through. And I'm gonna attach this uh, square right here through the center of our slipper. See, like this.
Now I'm going to make a few more rows around this uh, loop right here. So I'll chain one, then right there through that same chain I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain 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 one half double crochet. You don't really have to count how many of these half double crochets you have around this uh, loop. Just make sure they're not too close or not too far from each other. So we repeat this until we reach this first half double crochet that we have made in the beginning of a row. So now to finish this row, right here through this first half double crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes this row. Now for the next row, I will chain one, then through the same chain, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain, one half double crochet. Through the next chain, one half double crochet. So I'll continue making one half double crochet through each chain throughout this row. So now to finish this row, right here through this uh, first half double crochet chain that we made in the beginning of this row, I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain one and then I'll cut this yarn. So this is how our finished slipper looks.